Hello and welcome to Isa Web TV. I'm Dominique Dutta and we are here in a clean room in Kourou where Bepi Colombo is being prepared for its mission to Mercury. Next to me is Ulrich Reininghaus. You are the project manager for this mission to Mercury. So what's going on here? Can you explain to us? Yeah, what you see actually is the electrical stack of the Bepi Colombo mission. That means we simulate the physical stack meaning that all modules are physically stapled on each other. However, we do not do. This is why they are electrically connected. With this configuration, we do the final electrical system checks of the spacecraft. We have already done two days, the so-called AFT. It's a functional test and we were happy with the results it produced. Now we prepare the spacecraft to be taken over by ESOC. ESOC will take over for two days Uh, the spacecraft commanded from uh, ESOC, the operations center, and after these two days we take over again to have the final uh, dress rehearsal, the launch countdown, where we simulate also the launch countdown here from Kourou. So you don't only prepare the satellite physically, but also the, the brains of the satellite are activated and all the lines are checked in, in, in a simple way. Yeah, yes, of course. We have to be sure that when we go for fueling, This is when we reach the point of no return, that everything is healthy on the spacecraft, that also the, uh, the st ground station is green. Yeah, and uh, um, this is why we have to be absolutely sure that we have no failure still uh, carrying with us. So it's a, it's a long road in a way. Yes, it is. We're here since the 18th of April and we will launch on the 18th of October. That means we have a launch campaign of six months packed with intense work. So, uh, well, explain to us what is the, the MPO we have behind you. Well, see, the MPO is the Mercury Planetary Orbiter. This is the brain of the mission. It hosts all the 11 instruments we have on board to investigate the planet Mercury, where we go on the surface, the interior, the exosphere, and also on the magnetic field. So that's quite a big, a big role. And then we have the other mission, I guess. Um, the other module is the MTN opposite to, is, uh, to the MPO. This is the transfer module which brings us to Mercury. It hosts the iron uh, propulsion system. We have loaded already 581 kilograms of xenon onto the spacecraft, pressurized it. We have also integrated the both wings of the solar array, folded, it's ready for launch. And the next step for this module would really be fueling. In the rear we have the MMO, this is the Japanese contribution, this is the Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, is the second scientific uh, orbiter we have for this mission, uh, built under the responsibility of JAXA, which hosts seven instruments mainly devoted for the investigation of the magnetic field of Mercury. In fact you have a double challenge, it's the, the heat, because you are close to the sun, and of course we have all this working together and flowing. Of course, heat is the main challenge of Bepi Colombo. When we approach the sun, we have to survive temperatures on the surface of the spacecraft of 400, deg 400 degrees and plus. Uh, this is why we had to develop special uh, multi-layer insulation, which you see in the outside. It's the silver uh, shining appearance you have there. Mm -hmm. Also, the mechanisms for the, for the uh, movable solar arrays, the antennas, Uh, had to be realized in high temperature solutions. Also, this was a challenge to achieve this year. And uh, what you see there is the product of several years now of research and build and test. So then you will have this long way to the planet, you said seven years? Indeed, we will have a cruise duration of a bit more than seven years, where we go one time around the Earth, uh, two times Venus and six times Mercury itself, until we are really able to have the orbit, the final trajectory, which allows that the spacecraft being captured by the small gravity of the planet uh, compared to the Sun. And of course, then you will see on, with both uh, probes, you will be able to have a full understanding of the planet itself and its surroundings. It it's, has never been done. Uh, If it is a full understanding, I would doubt, but at the end we hope that we are able to contribute, to answer a lot of questions we have nowadays. You know, four years ago we had the messenger uh, mission there from the Americans on a different orbit, which was able to at least explore a part of the surface. We will explore this time 100%. We will investigate on questions Messenger really produced. For example, they also found ice. Mm -hmm. 
we want to better uh, quanti and qualify this ice yeah, and hope to be able to answer some of the mysteries of the planet Mercury. Thank you.